Fire Emblem Three Houses was one of the best turn-based strategy games released in 2019, going on to win Tactics Game of the Year from the Game Awards, and deservedly so. And now, on Fire Emblem's 30th anniversary, Nintendo have seen fit to release a remake of the 1990 original that started it all. I'm Dylan from the Beta Network, and this is Should You Play Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light. The story follows Prince Marth of Altea. Exiled from his homeland, Marth slowly builds up a squad of allies, creating an army to acquire the sacred sword, Falchion, whilst seeking out a legendary treasure called the Fire Emblem. His ultimate goal being to slay the evil shadow dragon, Medeus, in order to restore peace and prosperity to his kingdom. There's a lot happening here, but it's very hard to know what's going on from purely playing the game. It chucks you straight into the thick of things without giving you much of a backstory. So if you want to know more about the world and characters, you're going to have to make a few solo searches yourself, and there is a ton of lore in the original. You just won't find it in the game's actual content, unfortunately. Keep in mind when you're playing that even though this is a remaster, don't expect anything drastic. This is still an 8-bit tactics game that is solely focused around different battles and little story segments you get with each new map. With all due respect, this makes the whole experience rather repetitive and you can get bored relatively easily. Not to mention when fighting, you'll have to figure out through trial and error which units are more effective against others. Apart from this, the tactics side is brilliant, especially with having certain tiles that add specific stat buffs or debuffs. And since I've never played this Fire Emblem before, I was pleasantly surprised at how similar the essence of the first entry is to Three Houses. The only real main aspect that's missing is the extensive narrative. But hey, this tactical RPG was made in 1990, five years before I was born. So it stands to reason that it wouldn't have had an immense story. Even then, I still find it enjoyable. I mean, you can't help but find it enjoyable, especially when you listen to that 1990s retro game music. It just gets the head bopping. If you've been enjoying this video so far, please like and share the video and hit that subscribe button, as well as the bell icon next to it. Then press all. Each subscription really helps to grow our channel, meaning we can bring out more videos just like this every week. Thanks for your support. It is important to note, however, that there have been some changes for the new Switch release. The first being that you can now rewind to previous turns. This is something I am massively familiar with, having played Three Houses multiple times. It is definitely one facet that makes the game a lot easier, as it allows you to foresee the outcome of upcoming events, then back out and try something different. The only problem with this though, is that having to be careful with your characters whilst living with the knowledge that your move is final, creates a certain feeling of suspense that might be lost with this extra addition. Secondly, you can now fast forward enemy and player actions. This is a great inclusion, as battles can end up taking a long time to complete, especially if you're trying to plan out some sneaky, sus moves. With this speed up of the game's processes, this means that you can take your turns more quickly, letting your units advance around the battle map faster. And lastly, you have the ability to create and load bookmarks, which again are incredibly useful, particularly when you are slugging through a tough battle and need to stop suddenly. So basically, how it works is that when you save a bookmark and load it, it'll take you straight back to where you were previously. All these additions have been tried and tested in other Fire Emblems, and they've brought them back here to help improve the experience of this classic for a wider audience. The main point to take away from this title is that it's going to play massively off of people's nostalgia, or in my case, curiosity. My first Fire Emblem experience was Three Houses, and for me, it was the best game of 2019. So as soon as they announced 
this Shadow Dragon release, it was something that I had to see. Was it going to be like Assassin's Creed, where the first entry was kind of forgettable? Or like Crash Bandicoot, where the original's now regarded as a classic? Nevertheless, the ultimate question here is should you play Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon, and the Blade of Light? Honestly, it depends. If you enjoy tactics games, then definitely give this a go. It's a fantastic effort for a retro title released all the way back in 1990, giving you a glimpse into one of the first real early entries into the tactical role-playing genre. That being said, if you don't like tactics games, well, then why are you watching this video? If you have enjoyed this video, head on over to our website, thebetanetwork.net. We feature all our videos and publish weekly articles as well as a fortnightly podcast. So why not have a squiz at thebetanetwork.net for all gaming news and reviews.